Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Contoured Chemist. Look what I've got. You guys know what these are? It is Shades of the Season, quarter three. Can you believe we're already into the third one? So today, I'm not even gonna do a get ready with me, a full get ready with me like I normally do, because I want you guys to be able to see each of these shades on, because they're all brand spanking new. I haven't swatched them, I haven't done anything. We're gonna be doing all the comparison swatches. That way I can do a really fast face and then take it off and show you guys every color on me. You guys are ready for when these drop on June 7th. Can't believe it's already June. If you wanna check it out, please keep watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for being here. Let's get right on into it. I have obviously not done my face at all yet, but I'm dying to swatch these. Um, bear with me. I literally just <laughs> had to go to the doctor and give blood both of my arms. I took off all my bandages. I got poked five times before they finally were able to get a sample. Isn't it fun? Adulting is so much fun. Okay, so luckily, this arm is relatively <laughs> unscathed. So let's do some swatches, shall we? Okay, if you don't know, Shades of the Season, this, this quarter is quarter three, um, and they're gonna be available starting midnight. I wanna make that apparent because last time they changed from, it's always been like 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And then they changed it without even telling us. Um, I mean, they didn't make it a formal announcement that they were gonna be changing the time from here on out until we kind of noticed, oh, they're already available. I'm guessing it has something to do with like maybe trying to minimize the amount of people on the website all at the same time because the website always crashes. So midnight, so it is June, 7th. Set your timers June 6th if you want to stay up till midnight. And this season's of shades goes until midnight, September 28th. That is longer than we've had any. So four months this time. Okay, so what are the shades? Four brand new shades. I haven't even opened them. Okay, number one. All of these are black and white. I wonder if all the limited edition tens are gonna be black and white from now on. Interesting, just a thought, sorry. Okay, Jolene. This is definitely the most bold, most summery like shades. The rest of them I feel like anyone are gonna be able to wear. This one's gonna be a personal preference, okay? Jolene is bright. I think she's gonna be gorgeous with a tan this summer, I'm actually probably most excited about trying this on the skin because cold, it actually has, oh, it does. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick this up on camera. Maybe with my natural light, you can. Do you see that shimmer? It has got a, okay, so this is a matte shade. Yes, it looks very orange, but you guys know, I never wear them this pigmented. So a very sheer wash of color, they're gonna be so pretty. Okay, so right off the bat, it reminds me of a past limit edition shade we had. So I'll swatch it next to that. Oh, it's got the prettiest, like subtle shimmer. Do you see that? Oh, that makes me so happy. You guys know I like anything with shimmer in it. I like the subtle shimmer, not the glittery, just the subtle. Do you see that? Um, that's gonna be pretty. Okay, so it is a matte, but it does have some shimmer. So there's, we don't have very many mattes that have any shimmer in them. Hollywood is our only matte that has that gold shimmer. This one I would say has less shimmer. I don't know, it doesn't look gold to me. It just looks, it just catches the light slightly. I love it, I love it. Okay. So let's go ahead and swatch that next to what I think it would be 
most comparable to. So these are all the past limited edition shades that I can't wear. You can probably pick out which, I don't even know, are they all in here? Anyway, let's find the ones that I think people are gonna compare it to. Tangerine, so if you're around last year, customer appreciation party, always in July, the Fruit Punch collection was, in, was released and that had these four limited edition shades in it. And um, they're the ones that smell, which I'm praying they bring them back this year because they're some of my favorite things we've ever had. So this one's Tangerine but these were all glossy and rather sheer. So this color reminds me of tangerine just in a sheer formula, but the color payoff is, is like different, but it's like the same tone. Does that make sense? So this one I wore super sheer. I'm gonna wear this one super sheer. You will not see me rocking this boldly on the lips. <laughs> I don't think my skin tone or hair could pull it off. I'll look very Halloween. But if you like warm undertones, this shade will give it. In fact, I wonder if you could almost use this for like toning. Hmm, I've got all these things going through my head. Okay, Jolene. That was shade number one. Let's go ahead and see what else it would resemble. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people who got this one, this was last, no, not this, this was season one of this year, was Tiger Lily, and a lot of people were like, Tiger Lily looks so orange. It doesn't, compared to this shade. So this one is much more, has much more pink in it. So let's put it, but it was also a matte. So if you can kind of tell the difference, I thought this one was very much just a bright coral. Okay, so you can kind of see the difference. This had no sheen. So there is Tiger Lily next to Jolene and Tangerine. And then the only other one I feel like resembled it, which Tiger Lily was supposed to be a matte version of Venice. Venice was a permanent shade. They never told us they were taking it away. It sold out during the same time Tiger Lily came out and then Venice has not been back and there's been no news of it coming back. So I don't know really what's going on. They never made a formal announcement, but I'm guessing it's becoming a limited edition color. Love Venice, it's so pretty. But it is more like a glossy version of Tiger Lily. Again, more of a coral, less, you know, it's got more pink in it. Okay, so those are the only four I think that are even remotely similar. And those were all limited edition shades that you can't get. Nothing else in our permanent line comes anywhere close to the orange family, in my opinion. Um, Frenchie, Saint Tropez, the ones in the peachy family are all, even Tropicana are very different. So those are the four closest. I try to keep it as close as possible when I'm doing comparison swatches so you guys can see the difference. I'll go ahead and throw in Tropicana. Since that is a permanent shade, you're gonna see how it doesn't look remotely like it. Okay, Tropicana is more of a peachy coral. And there is Jolene. I almost need to like do my face so I can put it on, take a picture so you guys can see with those swatches. So I'm gonna do a fast face and that way I can just take off what I need to and take pictures of each color so you guys can see them next to each other. I hope that made sense. So let's do a fast face real quick and then we'll finish comparison swatches. I am not even gonna explain. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply like normal. So let's do medium coverage. I've already got my sunscreen on, my eye primer, and my perfecter is prepped and ready to go. So I'm just gonna take the blush and bronzer and I'm probably gonna use the blend brush, the detail brush, and let's do this. Color corrector Mango, Main, Sandy, Aura, 
as my brightener if I feel like it's needed. I'm just gonna hit the darkest points of my face first and go from there. Okay, I'm back. I've got a nice blank slate. Perfected, powdered. Now all I gotta do is add my lip and cheek. Take an after picture so you guys can see what this bad boy looks like. I'm starting with a shade this pigmented. I always recommend, and I feel like if you just barely tap in, it's it's not like it's crazy, crazy pigmented, but it definitely is way more pigmented than our glossy shades. So I always start off gently, gently tap in. You can always add more, it's harder to take away. So let's try this color. It's adding like just a hint of warmth right now. Can you see that? But man, I can see, I can see that shimmer. I think I'm gonna really like this color. And I didn't know if I would. Sometimes these colors surprise me. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm really gonna like that one, not that one, and the opposite is true. So I'd say I'm just barely kind of touching my face. And I'm just barely kind of tapping in so that I can really control much color. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, I really like it. I feel like it's just a little bit more on the warm side compared to that Tiger Lily that I really liked, but you could definitely get much more of a pop if you keep going. I would stop here, but it's my personal preference. So let's apply a little bit more so you guys can see truly what it can look like for summer because I feel like this is a really good summer color. So if you're looking for a pop, not scary, not, it does not look like Halloween on my face, but oh my gosh, can you guys see that glow? That glow is awesome. I, I mean, that was such a pleasant surprise because in the description from Saint, it did not say that at all, but look at that. It's just something about it catches that light. This would be a really fun color to mix with other colors to warm up any shade. So if a shade's too cool, that would work really well. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about what it's gonna look like on my lips. Like I love warmth on my face. I don't do warm shades really on my lips very much. Like even like sandstone just is not my favorite on myself personally, um, even though it's a favorite of many. It's just, I, I prefer, I should clean find my lip brush. I just don't tend to wear much warmth. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and line with Suede Lip Liner so you guys can see them all relatively similarly. Okay, so. Like I said right off the bat, this is not a color I would wear at full opacity on my lips. Um, if you have darker skin, by all means, you totally can, it would look awesome. But I'm just gonna use a little bit of balm so I have something for it to grip to. And then I'm just gonna use it like a stain. Okay, so I'm just gonna barely, I'm not swiping, just barely tapping in. And this is really similar to how I used to wear tangerine too. Like, didn't think I liked that color. I'm one of those people that avoids wearing oranges. I love corals and I love certain shades. But again, I have to be careful about the shade with my hair or I feel like I just pull black and orange Halloween. But look how pretty that is. Can you see the shimmer? Okay, I actually really like this. Didn't know I would. I love being surprised. So that's Jolene. I'm gonna take some after picks and then we'll go to the next shape. Okay, so I haven't taken off that side of my face yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply the next shade on the other side. Let's do some comparison swatches. Let's stick with the mattes because there's two mattes, two glosses. So the next one ta -da, is called Melody. I'll be honest, I don't know how to describe this one right off the bat and I can't remember how they described it. So let's just see. <laughs> To me, I mean, it definitely falls in that nude category. Definitely matte. Ooh, it's really pretty. Okay, so my first thought is Frenchy, but more pink, less peach. That's my first instinct, so. But it's definitely more nude. Yeah, it's definitely more nude than Frenchie. So let's go into Frenchie. Okay, so here's Melody, here's Frenchie. Okay, so let's try Frenchie next to it. Oh, dang, those are more similar than I expected. 
can you tell a difference? I feel like on camera they look more similar than they do in person. Can you see how it's just a little bit more pinky? Nude, peach, Frenchie is peach, salmon-y kinda. This one's very similar. It's just a little bit more on the pink nude, which I'll be honest, on my skin tone, Frenchie looks very nude. Um, it's very much a subtle peach on my skin tone. So I have a feeling this is gonna look very nude on me as well. Um, let's see if there's anything else it's similar to. I think it looks very similar to, oh gosh, I just stuck my finger in that. This is what happens when I try to pick up more than one at the same time. Um, a glossy version or a matte version of Boardwalk. This is Boardwalk. This is Melody, right? That's what I think. Um, so let's try Boardwalk. So this was Melody, but obviously our glosses are very sheer. Yeah, those undertones are like right on. I feel like this one is really hard to show on camera. For some reason, it's it's a little bit darker than fringy too. So it's definitely darker because man, boardwalk is very sheer on me. Um, let's see, the only other one that I'd say is very close. Uh, I might get asked because it's brand new, but let's try it next to Ibiza, just because it's right here in my palette. And it's, here, let me take this part off. That's Melody as well. Okay. That's a Visa, okay, which is a semi-gloss or a gloss. <laughs> Why can't I remember? Gosh, it looks, a Visa looks way more like pinky. It looks like it's got more purple in it when compared. Okay, um, what else would be close? Mm, this is Taffy, it's definitely way darker than that shade. That was a limited edition color. And then here's Wildflower, that was just came out. Definitely darker than Wildflower and I'd say less pink and then the other one that i always find very similar to boardwalk is desert sunset so desert sunset i believe is going to be probably darker well looks darker than 10 but no oh, it's very similar to desert sunset too that one might be a little bit closer than boardwalk just because boardwalk shears out so much more in Desert Sunset's darker than Boardwalk when swatched. Um, it does look very similar to Desert Sunset, which is one of my all-time favorite glosses. So um, if Desert Sunset doesn't last on you or Boardwalk, I would say put this color under it and then top it with a little bit of the gloss. You'll get that exact same color. It's gonna help that longevity. So let's go ahead and try Melody. This one, I feel like I don't have to be so sparing with it. Sparing, sparingly. Like Frenchie, I kind of have to apply quite a bit to see it well. To me, this is a color I can just throw on and go because it is going to be a nice neutral pink pinkish nude. I wonder how close it is to Summer Love. I keep thinking, we have a lot of colors in this kind of category that like a little bit pink, a little bit peach, nude, middle of the line, which if you've been here around for a while, you know, they're my favorite. Summer Love, Sadie, all of these nice 
more peach. So this is cooler. Summer Love is cooler because um, Summer Love is one of our coolest nudes. And yep, Melody is definitely a lot more warm. Sadie is a lot more nude. Okay, so this is really a great color because it's got that little bit of peach, a little bit of nude, a little bit of pink. It's a really good neutral. I definitely classify this as neutral. So let's try it on the lips. That is a really pretty nude lip. Okay, so for all of you out there that when you do a nude lip, it feels too brown, like too kind of dull, like Sadie sometimes pulls that way on me. Usually that means you need a little bit more pink or peach in it to kind of add a little bit of life to your lips again. This has got that. So the lip liner, our suede lip liner is warm. It's more of a, towards the brown side. So it will pull a little warmer around the edges. If you like more of a cool, more of like a shadow that makes your lips look just bigger, try more of a cooler contour to lip liner lips, but it's really pretty. I feel like I could still apply more. If you're darker than me, you will have to apply quite a bit of this, I feel like. It's possible that I haven't got that film off the top as well. Sometimes when I use it for a while, it's so much easier to pick it up on the brush. Okay, there's Melody. She's really pretty. Really good nude, especially if you are my shade or lighter, you're gonna love this color and it's gonna go really good under these glosses that don't have the best staying power. Okay guys, hopefully the lighting hasn't changed too much. It looks like it's about to storm here. The clouds are rolling in, but I've got two more. Let's do this. Um, I just took off both those colors, reapplied my highlights, my contour real fast, so don't look at it too close because let's let's just get through this. Okay, next one. I'm excited about this color. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the one I'm most excited about last, or the one I've been asked about the most. So this one is Homecoming. She's pretty too. So I feel like this is let's let's compare it to. Melody. I feel like they're very similar, but this one is matte, obviously. This one is uh, a gloss. It, in real light or like where I, not in the camera, this one is much more on the peach side and this one looks more pink. Um, but man, on camera, they look so similar. So we're gonna go ahead, put them next to each other. So, this is the one we just put on. This is Melody. Okay. Now, this next one is Homecoming. She might be like a glossy version of Frenchie, which we've asked for for years. Um, so, let's try Homecoming. Ooh, she's sheer. She's sheer. I'm really curious to see how different this is than... Okay, so remember, there's some type of film on top. Sometimes you gotta use the warmth of your finger, get through, especially on the glossy ones for some reason. Sometimes I'm like, this gloss has no color payoff. And then once I'm using it a little bit, I'm like, it's got plenty. It's just because I was trying to dip into the top layer. Okay. So, definitely much lighter, glossy. She looks very similar to Boardwalk, let's see. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Boardwalk is one of my faves. Um, this one's Boardwalk. This one's Homecoming. Homecoming looks lighter. Okay, 
Yep, Boardwalk is definitely darker. See that? Okay, so it's kind of in between. Let's try Frenchie. Okay, so it looks lighter than Frenchie. So let's go to Saint Tropez. So here's Saint Tropez. Here's Homecoming. Uh, I think this is still gonna be lighter, but Saint Tropez is um, a matte. Wasn't there a limited edition shade that was similar? Oh yeah. Wallflower, do you guys remember this one? This was one of my favorite limited edition shades we've ever had, ever. It reminds me of Wallflower, just lighter. It's also lighter. So Wallflower, I feel like it was a harder, it was maybe a semi-gloss. Um, I think this one's glossy, just a straight up gloss. So this is Wallflower. Okay, so Wallflower's here, Homecoming's here. I think Homecoming is just the most sheer. It feels very glossy and very sheer. Like if I don't build it up, it's one of those shades that I feel like is neutral enough. You could put this over anything. So I know you guys ask all the time, they're like, oh, I love this shade, the matte one, but I like a little bit more glow. And I'm like, top it with Desert Sunset, top it with Boardwalk. Those have always been my like go-to to add that glow and that sheen without feeling sticky. You need very little and to put it over it because it's not gonna change the color much because they're nice, kind of neutral. This would be my choice because this is so sheer but glowy and it's not gonna change the color of anything you put over it. So whether you have scarlet and you wanna make it glowy or the very lightest shade, it's not gonna show enough pigment that it's gonna change that color. It's really pretty. Good basic staple to have, I think. Let's see what it looks like on the face, shall we? These looks, all look so similar. It is really hard for me to tell the difference between them when they're just sitting out. Boardwalk, Wallflower, Homecoming. Right? They're all in the same family. But you can't get Wallflower anymore anyway. Let's try it on. Obviously, since it's very sheer, you can pounce in a lot, right? Get that color on the brush. The more you pounce in, the more you'll be able to see that kind of peachy nude, I would call that. Oh, these are my favorite. Like, I love just a slight wash of color. This is why I wear everything so sheer. But that glow, that is, it makes your skin look so alive and healthy literally my goal. I want my skin to look like this. Okay, so there it is on the cheeks. Let me line the lips and put it on the lips. Okay, since I know this one's gonna be a little bit more sheer, I'm gonna put it straight. Get a little bit more color payoff. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like that. If you're a new girl like me, that's pretty, gosh. That's why I loved Wallflower so much. It was like that just underlying glowy peachy pigment. This one's a little less, less peach, more nude in my opinion. Okay friends, we're ready for the last and final color. Let's see if we can do this before the rain starts coming. Okay, I've been asked more about this, or at least I have had the most comments of people very excited about the color August. And I think it's because we've been asking for a long time for a 
glossy version of like nude or plum. So here's our mattes. Nude and plum are like right there in the middle. We never have had a glossy version of them. And uh, those are like two of the top selling shades. All of our glossy ones are either really light, really dark, red, coral. We've never had this like mid-tone nude that would, I feel like nude, the color nude, works on almost anyone. And it's it was probably like my first real love of the shades, all the shades, it was nude. I, was, I could wear it every day. And this to me looks like it's in between the two. So let's swatch it. Oh, I love a good gloss. Okay, definitely gonna be sheer. All of our glosses usually are. Mm, I don't count Ruby, Ruby and Pop. Those are definitely not, but oh, that's pretty. I love a sheer gloss. Some people I know don't like it, but you can build it up. You can either build it up or wear it really sheer. That's a beautiful color. So good. so good. Okay, let's watch it next to Nude and Plum and then other glosses that might be similar. So first we have Plum and these are way darker and matte so they're way more pigmented. So it probably doesn't look too similar but hopefully you can see that color family and it's the same color family which is neutrals. Okay, yeah, it's definitely closer to, oh, yeah. it looks closer to plum in the 10, but obviously, because it's more sheer, I feel like, uh, gosh, it looks pretty similar to nude too. I feel like swatched, it looks more similar to nude if you're wearing nude very like sheerly. Um, other ones that I'd say are similar in the nude family, um, Summer Low, like I said before, is much more of a cool nude. You see how kind of like a cool, you see that cool undertone? Okay, this does not have that. Um, now plum itself, if you think of cool, the more purple in a shade means that it's more cool. So obviously, since you can kind of see that purple, it is more towards the cool side. It's not a warm color. Jolene, on the other hand, is warm. It's all towards the orange red side, okay? So this one is just more of that pinky cool, and this is more of the purpley cool. Like I showed you before, okay? But Sadie is definitely lighter, probably has more brown, less purple in it. So let's see Sadie next to that. And Sadie, like on me, is like almost like my lip color because I naturally have some purple in my lips. So, um, it's a very neutral nude for me. So this is gonna give me more color in my lips. Truly, we really haven't had any limited edition shades anywhere similar. I'd say Love Spell maybe is the most similar because it does have, but it had more like bronzy tones in it. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, this color is gonna be, this is definitely a color I wish was permanent. All right, I haven't even tried it yet, but <laughs> just saying. It's like a shade where it's needed within our line, in my opinion, because I love nudes, I love a gloss. I feel like we don't have anything in this depth, at this depth, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so let's try August. Definitely need a lot less of this shade than I need of that to get a very similar depth because this is darker. Okay, you hear the thunder? And I'm just gonna use my finger kind of to see how much I would need. Again, this would be the perfect glowy shade to put over nude or plum if you wanna make them more glossy looking. If you wanna glow, the reason I don't wear nude and plum as much, 
is because I like the glow, but this is perfect over it. That is like great nude for me. Okay, what do you guys think? There's August. Definitely more of on the cooler tone. So I feel like we've got a little bit of everything. I mean, Jolene can warm up any shade, give you that pop of that summer glow. Um, August would definitely cool down any shade, kind of add some glow over any of our mattes if you wanted to kind of darken or cool and add glow to any of the lighter, warmer shades. I think this would be really pretty over Frenchy for sure. Um, and then we have two that are kind of like right there in the middle. Um, Melody for a matte and Homecoming for a gloss. I feel like we have a lot of great nude shades. And of course you can't forget that pop of color. We don't have any other pops of color quite like this, but man, you guys, that shimmer in here is to die for. Okay, friends, so there you go. There's our four shades of the season for quarter three. You know, there is something for everyone with this bunch. I can't wait to mix and match them. Let me show you guys some fun combos. I hear my kids getting restless upstairs. So that is my cue to go. Remember, these are going to be live on Saints website at midnight 12 or 12 a.m. I guess you could say on June 7th and they will go all the way till the end of September, September 28th. Keep watching for some comparison swatches and as always, if you're needing help with your 3D foundation or Demi, I'd be happy to help you out. My color match questionnaire is in the drop box below the video and also in the pinned comment. Just fill that out and let me know how you like to wear your makeup. I can make any suggestions for shades, new or old, and help you with your current routine. If you have any questions about these new shades, just drop them in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I love you and I'll see you next week.